Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. In a recent video, we planted this cornfield here and I put clover out the very day that I did that as a companion crop. Now, my problem was my cedar, brand spanking new, never used it before, stripping gears. They just simply don't make stuff like they used to, folks. Well, I've got a guy that watches me that has his own YouTube channel. It's called Joe's Garden and Bees. I know Joe good enough from watching his videos to know that he is well thought out, precise, and he don't just say stuff unless it's true. So Joe got with me, sent me a link to where I could look up this, and one thing about Micah McGee, He's not precise and he's not well thought out, but he does know how to identify people that are. So immediately I took his advice. Sometimes simply taking others' advice makes life easy. So today I'm gonna get it out of the box and try it out. We've got a big old storm coming. It's gonna rain, it's gonna get all this wet and that's what I want. Now, if it works good, we'll put a link for it in the description it costs less than this bag of clover seed that I'm fixing to pour in it. So if it works good, that might be something you want to look into. I didn't even know such a thing existed, a hard case. I've always used the ones with bags. Well, you always have a problem with the bag collapsing when you're trying to fill it up by yourself. Of course, I've got all these good helpers around here. And so it's not usually an issue, but today I am flying solo. My boys are getting set up for a camping expedition so here i am this is it it's made by solo that's a good brand i, I use backpack sprayers i'm just sort of seeing how this thing works evidently the handle's inside and it is it's all fully assembled you just got to put the handle on it and the handle screws on right here just that easy. I, I, well, I thought it was. You going on? Yeah. All right. Just that easy. We've got it on. And to prove my point about me not being so precise, did you see me reading any instructions? No. The box, and I've not edited that part out. I did not read the instructions and I'm sorry Joe about that. I'm looking for a place to hook this. It's obviously gonna... Oh, okay. That's interesting. Looks like it just goes right there. I'm gonna look at the picture. Now I can read pictures and I see that that is wrong. What I'm doing is indeed wrong. It goes like this. All right, that's how it works, right there. All right, we're gonna fill this baby up, take it for a test drive. All right. Very stable, that's what I really am impressed about. I have spoken at great length about crimson clover and how I love it for a cover crop and for a pig pasture crop. Here we go. Supposed to hold like 20, 20 or 25 pounds of seed. I'm just gonna do that right there. Clover goes a long way, but I wanna plant it thick because I'm planting it as a companion crop to suppress weeds. All right. So, I don't want my seeds to dump. Now I'm gonna go down on a knee, hook this in, and then simply stand up. Let's go spread some seed. You see right here is the lever for adjusting your amount that's coming out, the flow. And with, with clover, if you're, or with whatever kind of seed, you want different rates of flow. So let's get out here and get it. Wow. 
Wow, I am impressed. I am impressed with that. That was amazing. This thing spins so easy, it's daylight and dark compared to the other. All right, let's load her up again. I've still got seed in here. This thing is very easy to control the flow. And that means you save money because you can control how much seed's coming out. That is incredible. Now you just give it a little shake, it'll settle right back down in there. Pop this on, give it a little turn, locks in. I mean, you could turn this thing upside down and it's not gonna fall out. That is my review of the Solo Seed Spreader. Some people call them Cyclone Seeders, Broadcasting Spreaders, whatever you want to call it. I'm impressed with it. It is like smooth as silk. That's, that's the only way I can describe the way this works. Just absolutely smooth as silk. Compared to the ones I've been using, daylight and dark. Unbelievable the difference. So if you broadcast spread seed, it's easy for you to say broadcast spread to see you owe it to yourself to use something that works and works well so i recommend it i appreciate joe go look at joe i'm going to put the link to joe's channel in the description or in the head of the comments go check him out he's got some pretty nice ways of doing gardening and bees we're going to get on out of here we appreciate you we hope you have a great day we'll see you on the next video